What I have to share with you is a ton of information. Um, I think it's coherent, but some of it will maybe take you a little bit of time to absorb, so I'll go very slowly. And I'll also tell you that sometime next week, I'll get you a copy of everything I say, so don't feel compelled to write everything down, because there's a lot, but if you can pay attention. And for those of you who are first timers, um, well, <laughs> you may be surprised. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Y'all. We are off to a grand start. We are for this fall. I'd like to share something I wrote. I guess one could even call it a quote. These words I find special, and I hold them quite dear. They help to explain why our business is here. Record sales, record profits. And let's help those in need. Let's all grow our business. Help more children read. Let's all grow our business so income schools and you earn. Let's all grow our business, help more children learn. I thought about sharing my whole talk in rhyme. I thought real hard, but now's not the time. Over the next few months, as the presidential contest heats up, the quality and the funding of education will be at the forefront of candidate and media-made campaign issues. The scarcity of educational funds, the scarcity of capital, and capable and committed teachers reinforces the need for parent and business community involvement in both the educational and the funding activities for schools and for student education. As David mentioned this past year at Scholastic Book Fairs across the United States, you all were the catalyst to facilitate over $70 million in cash flowing back into the schools and when we add in the value of the books and the instructional resource catalog products that schools take in lieu of cash, the number soars to well over 200 million. In the Texas region alone, your conversion of cash profit to book profit generated a million dollars of additional value. Congratulations to you. We, all of us here today, play a vital role as the powerful catalyst that improves the educational opportunities for kids. How many of you have received or read letters of praise from our customers? Show of hands. I'm going to just read a couple. Dear Scholastic Book Fair and the Berenstain Bear, thank you for visiting our kindergarten class and reading one of your books. We love your books. You can tell that because we have all four of the Berenstain Bears stuffed animals. Do you remember when you showed, when we showed you Brother Bear and you clapped? With love, Mrs. Neely's kindergarten class South Bosque Elementary, Midway ISD, Waco, Texas. Woo! 
Now here's one I won't say who it's from, and this is one that we can strive for. The comment at the back of the customer evaluation, the book fair was a pleasant experience. Thank you for your professionalism and courtesy. I hope you all can get that written on your customer comments all, all year long. That's a rebook, I bet. Here's some highlights of what one school did with their profits and their book fair. Thank you once again for your generous support of our second book fair. Through our classroom, classroom wish list program, parents donated 256 books to our teachers. Another 142 books were donated through the book profits program directly to our classrooms. Another eight books were selected for our professional library, adding to the curriculum and research volumes. Seven books were earned for the book bots, the robots that were on display throughout the fair. Beth Ray, a second grade teacher, was a winner of a $15 book drawing on our staff hat day. Group gross sales were up 10%, and we don't want to forget that the book fair provided our children with terrific titles to choose from that will provide them with a great deal of reading enjoyment. And there was a list of 67 parents that volunteered and were thanked. At the end it says, as you see, it takes many hands to make an event successful. I'm truly thankful to have such wonderful parents, supportive PTO, fantastic staff and administration, super custodial staff, and a terrific office staff. Everyone played a part in making this a great book fair, including scholastic book fairs. We had a wonderful family night that was enjoyed by so many. Thank you, the library lady. <laughs> now this one, this is two letters together. And this is the last two, and this will, well, it, it touched me anyway. Julie, thanks so much for Pakisha's book. She was thrilled. I think she would have written a three-page thank you if I had not stopped her. She did a rough draft. We edited, then she wrote our final, her final copy. This is a lot of work for a special ed student to do in one class period. And she did it with a smile. When I called her to the library, she thought she was in trouble. But when I asked her to tell me about the book, she was hard to stop. Thank you, you made my day. The principals and her teachers, not to mention Pakisha's. In Warney Oakview Middle School, and here's Pakisha's letter. Dear Miss Julie, I feel so happy right now, Miss Julie. I am going to say right now, thank you so much for the book. I really like At Her Majesty's Request. It is a nice book for a young girl like me to read. Miss Julie, I really do not read books, but this book I can read all day and all night because I like the way the girl in the book talks about herself, her friend, and the letters. When I came to the book fair, I did not see this book, but when I did came, I was not looking for a book because, like I said, I do not read books. When I got into my classroom, my teacher said, Pakisha, come to me. I went to her and she said, read this for me and tell me something about this book and should the library get it. I love it. Thank you so much, Pakisha Young. Thank you again. And she drew a heart. <laughs> so I ask you to keep these in mind. Keep these in mind as, you, as we look at some of your achievements this past year. Three of the basics of our business are booking fares, building revenue, and team pride. I'd like to acknowledge some of our associates in a category, only one category this year, for those of you who achieved budgeted goals this past year. What I'd like to do is read your names in alphabetical order. They'll also be on the screen. And as I do, please stand, and Kelly and Carol and Daniel, I believe you have ribbons that say Fair Count Achiever on them. And when you get your ribbon, have it hang on your badge or double stick tape. 
and wear it during our conference. You've earned it. So we'll see if the slides should advance one or two. These are our book fair sales consultants, fair account achievers. And I'll read them off. Muriel Ackroyd. And stay standing. Robin Bloom. Robin Bloom. Tammy Brown. Amy Collins. Susanna Collins. Lynn Flom, Anita Griffin, Irene Hernandez, Ann Howard, Valerie McKenich, Catherine McBride, Julie Morris, keep clapping, Susan Murph, Karen Perry, Pam Puckett, Tammy Reed, Christina Russ, Christy Sykes, Kim Stell, and Linda Wasman. Congratulations to our book, Fair County Cheaters. And you guys can sit down, but there's one other person who's not really a sales consultant, but I think he deserves the recognition. Where's Glenn Browder? Where's Glenn Browder? Glenn Browder used to be a sales manager and he achieved his budget and goals last year, so he deserves a fair count achiever ribbon to wear. You earned it, Glenn. Next slide. Building revenue category. I'm gonna focus on the field representatives. I know a lot of other people contribute to that, but we're trying to just keep one group with one component of our business. So we're gonna go through the, through the same drill, and what I'd like to do is recognize the revenue achievers, those field representatives that had a net revenue per fare increase in double digits. So, same thing. Jan Armbrist, Jack Brooks, Jane Brown, Dave Clements, Linda, Linda Flandemeyer, Maxine Floyd, Lynn Henyes, Amy Klassen, Mark McCleary, Carla Montgomery, Molly Newsom, Brad Phillips, Leslie Rollins, Barbara Rowe Magnolo, Jill Rosenhaus, Gloria Schultz, Joe Solis, Tony Thornton, Rhonda Todd. Our field, rep our field representatives who double digit increase in revenue per fare. Congratulations to all. Next slide. Okay. Now we recognize Team Pride. I say Team. I said Team. I say Team. You got it. Even the new people got that one. <laughs> there are several important facets to this integral part of our business. First is the team. We all play an important role in how well we fulfill our collective mission. From that perspective, I share a quote from a very, very old AT&T advertisement. They used to say, we need each other. To communicate is the beginning of understanding. I encourage all of us to commit this year to improving our communication, our speaking, and our listening, our reading, and our writing, and our frequency. Together, we're better. And the second part, pride, and I think the acronym is great, Carol, if I remember right, Carol, weren't you the one who invented that with the task force? For those of you that don't know, PRIDE, and I think I didn't put this on the slide, but PRIDE stands for Personal Responsibility and Delivering Excellence, and it's on our banner. 
When we deliver excellence, we retain and we grow our customer base, we have more fun, and we have another opportunity to make a positive difference with kids. I encourage all of us to take personal responsibility to do our part to help our Southern Zone Dream Team deliver excellence consistently this year as we soar to new heights. Representing Team Pride, let's recognize our branch managers who achieved your budgeted profit. Same drill, keep standing, your ribbon reads, profit achiever, Carol, Kelly, and Daniel, please pass out the ribbons. So we acknowledge Steve Angelo, Edinburgh, Alex Blocker in Lubbock, Fanny Chafin in Waco, Steve Dvorak, San Antonio, Marty Eshelman, Tampa, Stephen Helm, Birmingham, Ann Noel, Nashville, Carol Owens in Knoxville, Rick McCorney in Jacksonville, and uh, Kelly, if you can come up here. Uh, we had a general manager achieve their profit, so you're in a profit achiever ribbon. <laughs> the whole region. Now, you have to work with me on this one. Will all the ribbon earners please stand? All of you that just got ribbons, please stand. Good. Now, stay standing. Would all the first-timer ribbon wearers please stand? Now, that's very good. Now, would all the rest of you who will be a ribbon achiever next year at our Southern Zone Conference please stand? For some of you, I'm going to have to create a category. Now, let's imagine it's next year. <laughs> I'll create categories. <laughs> let's imagine it's next year at a conference, and let's hear how it will sound when we applaud the ribbon achievers. <laughs> you hear the tropical wave in the background? <laughs> Be seated, thank you. I don't know what's next, but here we go. That's a ribbon achievers. That's a celebration. So let's fly. This, um, I wrote somewhere between last night and this morning. You all in Texas know I do these kinds of things pretty well. Some of the others don't, so I'm going to take out my hat and read a little bit. And this is a new hat this year. Alan found this for me on the way uh, on the way out of town one time. So thank you, Alan. This is initiating it, I guess. Last night, I was pumped, and I started to write. Let's fly, Southern Zone. Let's all soar to new heights. Fair count eight percent, net and revenue growth nine. Next summer we'll go to a place that is fine. Really fine, Southern Zone. Let's fly high like a kite. Set your sights, Southern Zone, to a tropical site. We're in this together. Nine Rev and Fares Eight. I think that's the next slide. Good. Thank you. Spread our wings, Southern Zone. We'll all celebrate. Now, if you remember last night, the Jazz A sang this song about let's fly at the end. So that's what inspired me. So. So I said, take this slow, because there's a lot here. <laughs> Next slide. That's where we'll celebrate. Okay. And uh, thanks, Linda, for the slide. <laughs> um, next slide. That's where we celebrate. Same thing. Okay, here we go. Let's remember to add in our new jamboree 
in 16% of our fares we do want to see. But that should be easy, because Southern Zone's hot. You won jam in spring. Have you forgot? So there it is for you, 8, 9, and 16. Next slide. Dream of a place that you've never been. <laughs> You want a specific place? I can't give you that yet. See, I've got nothing under my hat yet. But I will tell you this, for this I can say, like Jose's song last night, we will fly away. We will find a place, an island you say? Could be. But if so, will you fly away? That was a question. <laughs> I told you there's a lot here. In the fall, we will tell you where it will be. If you're in, make a racket when I count to three. <laughs> One. If you're in, make a racket when I count to three. One, two, Three. Is that your final answer? Okay, now I have to explain what's going to happen. See, in order to achieve above our budgeted goals, we have to find opportunities that we can take advantage of. So, in rhyme, I will share not one, two, but three overplan opportunities. That's okay. Who has heard of the, tr of the tree with a low hanging fruit? If it were money, it would be easy loot. Rebooking our book fairs is kind of like that. So let's rebook book fairs, says the guy in the hat. <laughs> Rebooking all book fairs, that order is tall. And a fair is a fair, no matter how small. You get that from Horton Hears a Who? See? Man. <laughs> Uh, but let's focus on two groups where we must do more, just two groups, not three, and not even four. The first group is easy. 1,000 net and higher, over 90% rebook, we should aspire. Of course, 95% would also be great, but let's first get past 90, then celebrate. The next group is smaller, but the average is not. In fact, this is the group that our rebook should be hot. I'm talking about $2,500 net and more. What should our goal be? Asked the voice from the floor. I like 100, a perfect score, but if you're at 100, it's tough to do more. So let's set the bar at 95. When you break 95, your business will thrive. While that was long, the first of the three, how big is this opportunity? As we look ahead to 2001 and 01, over 1,100 fares won't be run. That did $2,500 and up, that's at net, in the past two years in this zone, so let's go out and get. I'm going to read that again, and I'm going to explain it. First, I'm going to explain it in English. See, we, there's 1,100 fares that we ran in the past two years that we don't have on the books yet for the year that we're now in. Those fares did over $2,500 net. The schools are still open. 
And we don't have those on the books. So I'm going to read that again, and then I'm going to keep going. As we look ahead to 2001, over 1,100 fairs won't be done that did $2,500 and up. That's at net in the past two years, so let's go out and get this low-hanging fruit. $5 million, you see, rebooking is a big opportunity. The next opportunity is also tremendous. Our performance this year by some was horrendous. I'm speaking of book fairs that come and then they go with neither a fair count nor money to show. Cancels we call them and we have too many. So what's the right number? Is it one more than any? Let's set a target. I call it 12, 9, and 6. Let's go for these levels and cancels, let's, let's fix. Next year at our conference, for 6% and below, we'll award a ribbon or something to show the branches and SCs that led the way. For 6% and below, you will earn an A. Below 9 and 12, you get B and C, and that's all the grades that you'll get from me. So contact and contact and contact some more. Contact improves your cancel score. If we can break 9%, that's 1,000 more fares. Where else can they go? Is Troll still out there? So think of the children, the fair at their school, book early and hold them. Can we live with that rule? Can we live with that rule? The third opportunity, this sets us apart. The whole southern zone got off to a start. March came in like a lion, it went out like a lamb, and yes, our southern zone sure knows how to jam. We were fast and focused, we showed we could run. In the jamboree race, our zone clearly won. Let me share with you, inspired by a children's book, a jamboree story, Let's take a look. I should explain who these people are, but you'll have to use your imagination. Now, this is the story. I like a book fair at my school in the fall when it is cool. Just four cases, that is all. Place them up against the wall. And only send me one display, that is all I want today. But I have something you have not tried. We all support it with Team Pride. Would you like a fair with something new? Raise funds easy. Promote reading, too. A little work for you to do. Rules are easy, and our reps will help you. It will just take a little space, a tabletop, but not a case. Kids sure do like the prize. For names and booklets, they realize that they get something, and school too, Scholastic, you sure did come through. I'll tell my cousin, Sam I am, to always do book fairs with jam. <laughs> so now's the time for us all to commit Southern Zone, we can do it. So there you have it. One, two, three, focus opportunity. Together, create symmetry, but one alone that should not be. A lot, you say, to do all three and keep balance and harmony. See, I've worn a lot of hats this year, so. See, the 
Orlando has the magic. <laughs> Local color. And Harry Potter does too. But how do you keep balance when there's a muggle in you? <laughs> now, a way to keep balance when you are a muggle? One thing you can try is learn how to juggle. See, if you book fares all day long, <laughs> I can't read it and do it. If you book fares all day long while singing a song, it's easy, but thank you. But just booking fares, that would be wrong. See, I had to memorize the words here. See, book fares and build revenue, that's one thing, not two, and that is something that I believe we all can do. Now the third part for all, I call it team pride, for this, I want our GMs at my side. So Carol, Kelly, and Daniel, yes, Daniel too, please come up here on stage. I have something for you. I can't do it, Phil. <laughs> here, give these to Daniel. Just hold on to these. Just hold on to these for now. We got it. I have some more. Just. Can mine be on a string? Just so open this. Somebody else took. Hold that. Hold that. Oh, can we trust that with the wand? Hold on. Well, Michael, you're smiling. Please come on up too. I have a little task for you to do. I hope you're all inspired that this gives you a lift. So let's have some music and let's pass out the gift. Ole, 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 you can do whatever you want. Ole, Daniel, you're on. He knows how to do this. Just a, uh, I guess I was a warm-up back for Chris. <laughs> so thank you very much. Have a great year.